Okay, now we're going to cover something that I think is really important for any website with a database, and that has to do with backups. Um, I think that it's important to do backups pretty much almost every day or every couple days on your site, especially if you have a lot of content going on, um, you're constantly making changes, and with the way the world is today, people hack websites, servers go down, you know, things happen. So there is, you know, a really great extension um, it's called Lazy Backups that I highly recommend for anyone that wants to keep their Joomla website updated and really just not even have to think about it. Um, so we're going to load that up for or teach you how to load that up and um, then you can be assured that your database is backed up all the time. So what you're going to do is go to extensions and install uninstall and then you're going to go to choose file and that has what we were in last and you're gonna have to download this file but the cool thing is is that in my YouTube description and on the video Joomla tutorials um, we're gonna provide you with the link to the website for this developer okay um, and we'll go to Joomla 1.5 components doo -doo -doo. you'll put the extension wherever you want to and right here it is for me lazy backup okay upload file and install okay now lazy backup is a plugin um, so what you have to do first of all is configure it okay so you're gonna go to extensions plugin manager and I like clicking on this enabled thing it sorts things out for me and lets me know where things are click enabled and uh, it's not going to display it. It's not enabled yet. So we'll go to display all because it's definitely going to be one of these red ones that isn't done yet. Okay, right here, lazy backup too. So we'll click on that. Okay, and with this extension, you're really not going to mess with any of this stuff. The developer suggests that you don't touch any of it. Um, that's right up here if you don't know what you're doing because you can end up compressing your backup the wrong way or not all your files will be in there or whatever so the only thing that you're going to do if you want it to go to your email is put in your path now you can also put in a, a HTML path but I like to just send the backup right to my email every day so um, you know for Joomla for new, noobs I'd put like Joe at Joomla for noobs.com, you know, and then it could go for Joomla for noobs, always goes to um, an email address that I want it to be at. Or you could create an email, email address called backup and you could put it in there. So backup at Joomla for noobs.com. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit um, yes for enabled and then hit save and then what's going to happen is every night you're going to get an email that sends you the backup oh one quick thing that I should show you um, one quick thing that I forgot to show you is right here the time and I'll normally select you know a time that I want it to come at and then you can select your amount of day so if you want it every two days you do that right here and you can choose how many times a day I don't see why you would have it more than one time a day but um, right there I think it was important to show you that so there you go that's an awesome awesome plugin that everybody should download on their Joomla website